All right, you might be thinking, hey, you know what, Juan Pablo, I would love to invest, but I got bad credit. Or hey, you know what, Juan Pablo, I would love to invest, but I don't have document income. I don't have the W-2s, the 1099s, I get paid on the table. I haven't filed my tax returns in three, four, five, seven years. So it's, it's, it's impossible for me to, to invest in real estate right now because I know with my credit and my lack of uh, documents uh, showing my income, I know I can't qualify for a mortgage. So if that's you, if you have that mindset, all I have to say is two words, stop it, <laughs> right? All you have to do is just be a tad bit more creative, right? Now, um, to invest in real estate, of course, you got to bring something of value to the table. You got to have something that's of a uh, value, right? You got to have something that's an asset. So for some of you, your asset may be that you have some capital. You know, if you have some cash that you can bring to the table, then by all means, use that cash, use that capital to invest in real estate. But how if I don't qualify for a mortgage? Partnership, right? Leverage your network. Let's say that's something of value, right? You have a network. If you have a network of people in which they do bring the paper to the table, meaning they have the tax returns, the W-2s, 1099s, no losses on the tax returns, stuff like that. And let's say you have a partner who also has the credit to the table, you know, has the high FICA score and, and low debt to income ratio, low debt to credit ratio and all that good stuff. Then by you bringing the time to the table or some capital to the table, then you can uh, make sure that you and your partners can close on a deal. So that's one of the things we do within our program, right? We have people from many various different uh, backgrounds, different ages, uh, different ethnicities, as well as just different income levels, different credit levels. Okay, but once they enroll in a program, sometimes we like to do a little uh, matching, right? We like to pair people up. So we might say, okay, this person over here, they uh, may not have the, the capital simply because, um, let's say they had an emergency, uh, their car broke down and their funds were limited or had to pay the unexpected expense, whatever the case may be, right? However, even though their capital is somewhat lower, they do look really great on, on paper, meaning positive tax returns, they have all their, their ducks in a row, they have all their financials prepared, W-2s, 1099s, all that good stuff. So the mortgage broker loves them and says, you know what? Yes, I'll be willing to do a uh, mortgage for this particular person. Now, of course, you, you need the mortgage that covers roughly 80% of the purchase price, right? But what about the latter 20%? Of course, you guessed it. Reach out to other partners who can bring that other 20% to the table. Because there, there's people out there who <laughs> have that mattress money, right? You just have the money in a savings account or in the mattress, literally, or they're having a retirement account. Uh, or even in their checking account, gaining no interest, just sitting there dormant, collecting dust, no interest. And they would love to park it in a property with someone who knows what they're doing, especially if they know that they can't qualify for a mortgage as a result of lacking the tax return, W-2s, all that good stuff, right? So that's, that's the name of the game, guys. One, just be creative. Two, have an optimistic mindset about it. And three, leverage your network. Now, you might be thinking too, well, Juan, Juan Popular, well, what if I don't have a network? What if I don't have the time, the, the credit, or the cash? Then all I got to say is that, well, if you have no time, credit, or cash, and you have no deal. <laughs> you got to bring something of value to the table, okay? So if you want the credit and the cash, bring the time, meaning you found someone who brings the credit and or cash, or you found someone else who brings the cash and or credit, right? And if you have the credit, you got to find someone who has the time available and the money available. If they have both or at least one of them. So what you have to do is you just have to be that um, that person who forges strategic partnerships because that's the point of partnerships, right? Where someone brings something of value in which other people may lack, where my strengths or your weaknesses and vice versa. Okay, so just keep that optimistic mindset, be creative and invest. Happy investing, guys. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how you too can get started with, uh, with investing and uh, you'd like to get some training, I do have a free training for you. All you have to do, my friend, is just check the link below in the description to learn more. As always, guys, it's to your success. Continue to earn passively, live passionately. Peace.